Hello everyone, it's me, it's the one, it's the only, it's the drag queen of them all. Unica, how is everyone doing today? If you guys are watching on the replay, make sure you push those thumbs up. Also, push that subscribe button if you like what you're watching. Wow, do I have some topics for you guys. Um, I'll get to my description here in a bit. just want to like sink in. Yes, I'm giving you guys blue and gold. I'm giving you football player. I'm giving you cheerleader. I'm giving you guys the works. I love this look. Um, I did not put on eyelashes. No, I don't have a wig. I'm doing more of a boy frame. Yes, I have my beard. Don't feel like shaving my beard. Just my reasons. Um, so I'm giving you guys boy drag. Um, boy drag is where you look like a boy, but you put on makeup. That's kind of boy drag. That's bearded drag. Um, bearded drag is usually where you uh, put lots of glitter. You really bedazzle the heck out of your, your beard. As for you guys, you guys can tell, I just really have my little line that I usually do just around my lip. Um, ah, there we go. Much better. Oh, my goodness. Did I just smear my lips? I just smeared my lips. Holy nuts. Oh, well, I guess that's the way we have to do the show. Hello, Ms. Ryan Bagcock. Hello, Diane Payne Dreamer. How are you today? Wow. Do I have some things to talk to you guys about? I'm loving this look. I look good. I'm like, ooh, let's go play some football. But guess what? We can't play football because we have COVID. I know we are sick and tired of hearing about it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I got my lovely pen. Um, I am working, of course, on our lovely uh, Love at its dark Darkest. Um, a couple things I'll be talking about, which I can't, I'm not looking at my lip. If you guys are going to sit there and talk about my lip today, goodbye. Because <laughs> I don't care right now. I just did a quick makeup look for you guys. Um, did my brows. I like, I love this look just right here. Oh my goodness. If I like had like just only eyes. Oh, you guys can totally sink into my eyes. Okay. My eyes hurt because I got so much eyeliner in them. Um, I tried doing my eyeliner earlier and it was just bleeding. I was blinking. I was irritated. I'm tired. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. Tired. Um, came home from work, had a long meeting at work. Came home from work, ate, did my makeup. I'm here with y'all. And I've been off since 2 o'clock, so it's been about two hours, an hour and a half of eating. So I've only been very active for like maybe about an hour. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty. My name is Unica. The one, the only, the drag queen of the... Oh, hello, Miss Sherry Tippy Toe. I'm about to do... I'm trying to do my disclaimer. Okay, I cannot look at chat when I do my disclaimer because if I do... I get all kabobbled. I start paying attention and going off topic. So... I'm going to look directly at the camera. Hello, everyone. It is me, the one, the only, the drag queen of them all that diamond paints. If there's another drag queen out there that diamond paints, high five to you. Um, yes, I am diamond paint with the drag queen. Um, I am providing content for you guys, me as drag, performance videos, uh, how-to on makeup. Um, I know some of you are like, girl, no, I need a how-to on you. Go right ahead, judge me. I don't care. Your opinion doesn't matter. Speaking of opinions, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, so keep yours to yourself. Because I don't want your asshole. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. With that being said, you might hear my dogs. You might hear the trash because it's trash day on Tuesdays. Um, Mr. Mubu does not feel good, so he is in the other room. Um, he might come in here, grab a couple of things. So hopefully Mr. Mubu feels better. We both have really bad headaches today. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I have four lovely puppies. Not puppies, dogs, and one puppy. Um, I would say all of them are puppies because they're small. I mean, to me, puppies are small. So, yeah. Um, I have Rata, Liendres, Baby, and Chaparra. Chaparra, I call her Chinchilla. So, yeah. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. So, I am working on Love at its Darkest. And I am just finishing up this little section that I already had here. I've been trying to finish this since this weekend. And for some odd reason, it hasn't been doing that. I've been getting distracted, relaxing. Um, I had four days off working in between one day. So within a five days, I had four off and one working day. That was so much needed. Am I 100%? No. I'm more like 65 to 40 or 35, whatever the high ratio of 65 is. Um, 
but other than that, those four days were needed. I did get the book, um, Midnight Sun. I've been reading that. I think I'm on chapter six. Um, let's talk about the book club real quick. I have my own opinion. Like I said, um, this is just my opinion. I know that there was, I, okay. So I tried logging in and I was having some issues and all that. And so by the time I was able to try to get in, apparently the chat had already ended. So I was like, ah, pooey. Um, wasn't happy about it, but there's nothing really I can do. Just try better next time. Um, since I didn't get to talk about it, I'm definitely talking about it. I can't wait to talk with best friend about it because she's getting the book. Um, she hasn't yet, but best friend just zone past this for the next few minutes. I loved the book. The book is amazing. The detail that Edward gives. Um, so the book is about Edward. Um, it's about how not when he became a vampire, but okay. It's a little bit about it, a little bit not. Okay. So if anyone remembers the first moment Bella sees Edward is when she walks, when he walks into the cafeteria, when he walks into the cafeteria, when he walks into the cafeteria, she looks and it's just this glow of skin, this beautiful brown hair. Ah, it was amazing. I loved the description and the way he walks into the cafeteria, the way he's able to read minds. He was listening to everybody, but he can't hear her. We already know that. We can't hear what Bal's thinking. Bal is a shield. If you did not read all the books, she is a shield. That is why she was always able to block out anything um, like thoughts, pain, after she became a vampire, all that good stuff. So, He's having trouble trying to understand her, and the, the taste of her blood is just so sweet and delicate. Just the way they describe her is, in his mind, is just like, it's kind of like sex appeal. Like, ooh, she's, mm, okay, I can't believe I'm doing that to you guys on video. <laughs> but yes, it's true, it's kind of like sex appeal. So, I mean... Maybe I should start dying pain. It's definitely like sex appeal. I, the way, I mean, it's kind of like sex drive also because, I mean, if anyone has a significant other, I mean, whether you guys are sexual or not, girl, this is sex 101. If you don't like it, leave. Um, for me and Mr. Mubu, when I think of Mr. Mubu, I get very dry mouth. He makes me thirsty. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> crunch thirst. <laughs> There's no, is it crunch thirst or thirst my crunch? Whatever. Y'all know what I mean. Like, if someone can just make your mouth dry in every waking moment, you're just thinking about them. And that's the reason why you have a headache. High five. Because literally, that's that's kind of the way I see it, is that he has like this very high sex drive for Bella. And um, let me grab my book real quick. And yes, I'm wearing my Air Force shirt, Air Force One, um, to support my husband. I got a joke. My book is over here, so I didn't need to get up. It's right here. <laughs> yes, I have the book Midnight Sun. Um, I'm really am hoping that when I read this, it's when I continue reading, it doesn't go into the second book of New Moon. The reason is, is because I don't want him to leave. Not yet. I need more books. <laughs> Who needs more books? I know I need more books. I need more books. I need more descriptions. So I really am hoping that this book does not drop off to where, you know, Bala was bitten by that other, uh, was it the other vampire, like, in the first movie? I don't know. Like I said, I have a brain fart right now. But it's like, because he already was a danger to her. Excuse me. See, now that I ran, I have the hiccups and the burps. 
So you guys are going to hear that for a little bit. I really am sorry. Um, so with that being said, like he, he, he's saying that he's a danger to her. He's a danger to everyone in the school, but, but he's in love. Let's all say the word love. Ooh. Love. <laughs> he's in love. It's Valentine's Day. It's not Valentine's Day. It's like, um, I would consider this uh, August. <laughs> there's no, to me, there's no holiday in August. It's just the middle of the shit show. It's a, it's August. I feel like August is preparation for shit to begin. Because you got September. September's like, oh, I'm almost there. August is like, no, we just finished with July. We're going into September. So maybe September and August are like twinsies. It's like a two double month of like where everything just drops. Like right now I walked into Walmart and I saw that there was all this Halloween stuff already. I'm like, no, 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 no. We, we just finished 4th of July. We're only what, 11 days away from the, the, the July, 11 days. Um, 41 days away from 4th of July. Let's not, let's not do that. Let's not go down that route. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what, what am I talking about? I went from this to 4th of July. Oh, so maybe I should die in hate. I'll say that. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, like, it's just this magic love that he has. And I really am hoping that I don't read the parts where it's the second book where he left. Because I'm not going to lie, New Moon, when I had to read that book... Not that I had to, I wanted to, but that book, that book right there was probably one of the most excruciating stories I had to, I had to read, meaning it was just dragging on about how Bella was so sad. I mean, I think I literally got depressed from the second book and I couldn't stand it. And so with this, I'm just, I'm waiting for that anticipation. The, the detail that he goes, um, that Stephen Meyer, Stephanie Meyer went into is literally how anyone would truly describe their true love. Um, I think Bella is one of Stephanie's alter egos. So the fact that Bella was really just this new town girl. I'm I, I question myself, was Bala was Stephanie at one point a new town girl? Because the way I see it is do authors usually use their past experiences based off of what they've gone through in the past? Because if, I mean if I'm gonna write a story, I'm definitely gonna talk about something traumatic that might lead to it. Like it's probably like this little one bit piece and she ended up making it into this grand piece, this huge thing of why is my dog barking? Whatever. Um, they're, they've been a pain today. <laughs> so like seeing all this, it's, it's really, I question myself, did she or did she not? Was she ever a new town girl to where she probably fell in love with someone, but they didn't love her. So like now she's like, oh no, here's my passion. This is what I had to write about. Like all this amazing stuff. That's what I think. That, that's just my opinion. But the story is good. The story is really hard to put down because of my busy lifestyle, diamond painting, crocheting. I don't even want to die in paint right now. I really want to crochet. I really just want to watch TV, close the blinds, crochet, because I'm starting to get a migraine from all the sunlight and the light from here and then the TV screen and the eyeliner. It's just a whole lot of mess. Um, upcoming. Let's talk about some upcomings. Actually, let's continue talking about the book. Then we'll talk about upcomings. So that's kind of what the story is about. I hope I answered you guys' questions, but yes, that's what it is about. I read the books and watched the movies. Good. You need to read the books and watch the movies because they are very similar. They are similar and different. Excuse me. 
Um, I think the movies did do justice for the books. I think it gave us more of an understanding how the books were supposed to be laid out. Um, because a book is different than a movie, they did a really good job. Um, I'm can t I can tell you right now, one of my favorite things that was said in the book was Carlisle laughing about um, about like his own jokes. Like he was making jokes and he's the only one laughing like, <laughs> yeah, that's what's funny. Um, if you guys go to, hold on. Go to, I have it marked, 309, uh, 309, 109. On page 109, paragraph, whatever, one, two, three, um, it says, stay. She sighed. Don't go. Please don't go. He was in the room watching her sleep like a little creeper. He knew, like, he was watching her and she knew. Like, her butt was probably tingling. tingling. That's why she knew, like, senses. Her butt was probably tingling, saying, oh, Edward's in the room. And she's like, ooh. Um, don't go. Please don't go. Like, but she was dreaming about him. So, uh, yeah, she was dreaming about him. And the fact that he's watching her dream about her is like, why are you dreaming about me? She has a thing for me. She doesn't hate me. No, nah, she don't hate you. She loves you. Everybody say it with me. Love. Yes. Yes. She's loving him. Like, Ooh, I'm getting the heebie jeebies. Makes me want to hold my man. Yes, he loves her. All that good stuff. He loves her. And ooh, I have, I'm so tempted to just scratch my face. But if I do, I'm going to show y'all smudge. I should do that for you guys. But then, of course, I want to take pictures afterwards. Let's take a selfie. I can't take a selfie. My phone's charging. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. I missed you. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I've been doing that, um, just reading the book, and it's just so good. I am praying and hoping, hoping the cast, the original cast, Taylor Lautner, um, uh, Christian Bow. I wish all of them, uh, Eric, pa uh, is it Eric? I forgot his name. Oh, shit. I can't even think right now, you guys. Um. I hope they can all get together and redo this, like, do this book as a movie. Add to the sequel. They need to. Oh, my goodness. Like, we can do makeup. We can make y'all look young. Look, I even look like a woman right now with a shaved head. But that is really what I've been, I think it'd be so good as a book. Him and then him visiting, uh, what was uh, his cousin? Like, it was so good. And then the fact that he had to drink. He had to leave. And the thoughts were, like, the fact is, is that even the teacher has a crush on him, the secretary, the counselor. When he went to go change his schedule, even she had a crush on Edward. Like, oh, my God, stop. He's too young. And, but in reality, he's reading the mind, like, nah, I'm even older than your granddaddy. Like, stop it. That is what was funny. I was laughing my butt off. Like, oh, teacher, you got a crush on Edward. Okay. Um, another thing. So some upcoming. I am going to need to do my performance videos for you guys pretty soon. Like I said, once a month, I will be doing a performance video and dying painting, which I'm not dying painting right now. I'm just talking to you guys because <sighs> it's been a minute. It's been an interesting week. Um... I'm just not feeling like diet painting today. I just want to talk to y'all. Um, actually, do you know what? I got a better idea. I'm going to put this away. I know my best friend's going to yell at me. She'll be like, no, finish it. Yes, because all I have is the three tens to do. And I don't want to do three tens. So give me a second. If I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to y'all right. So, like I was saying, the book was really good. I'm I'm liking it. Um, five chapters each each week. I'm probably not going to be able to do that, like I said, because of my busy schedule. Um, 
Will I be joining into the next chat? I do not know. Um, the reason is, is because when I think of book club, I think of everybody getting together, talking about it, reviewing it. I don't think it should take 20 minutes. That's just my opinion. Um, but if somebody wants to do a group that way, then that's on them. I, I appreciate the invitation. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. Hello, Miss Alexis Bowen. Girl, I am serving you um, blue and gold today. Blue and gold is what I got for you. So, yeah, um, let's all, by Friday, I'm hoping by Friday, the latest Monday, Bianca Peters, my dear, um, the pen, the diamond painting pen, um, I'm, I want everyone to know how hard it is to ship overseas at the moment. I went to go get an estimate of how much it would be to ship this out. They want to charge me $40 to ship this little EDB pen out um, to Australia. And I was like, ah, uh, no, 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 no. So Mr. Mubu is actually going to go with me tomorrow, I think. Don't quote me. Um, is it tomorrow or Thursday? Thursday, I think he's going with me because he wants to see why they want to charge me so much um, just to send this EDB pen out. So I... I don't know if the lady was being rude to me or whatever, but I was like, okay. So I don't mind sending the $41. I mean, I guess it was my first raffle or giveaway. So I really should have watched, you know, who in the United States, overseas, things like that. I don't want to forget about my overseas people. I never want to. So, yeah, let's... Like I said, I think it's because I was trying to select, like, um, next day. What was it? Like, next day or two days of delivery. And I was like, do they even allow that for overseas? Like, how would they get that from here to there? So I was, like, really irritated because I tried to answer. I, like I told you guys, I am not the brightest drag queen, but I am very colorful. So when it comes to pricing um, or me doing things on my own, I sometimes question, like, if I'm doing things right or if I'm asking it the correct way, because last time I even tried sending to Mexico, they wanted to charge me like 30 some odd dollars. And I was like, uh, no, Mr. Mugu walks in there and he goes, oh, look, babe, only like 10 bucks. I go, how did you get it from 30 some odd dollars to $10? Because based off of the weight, whatever, the way I shipped it, that's why I don't like going to the post office. I'm very big on not going to the post office. I'd rather just have Mr. Mubu do it. So Mr. Mubu told me he will definitely help me out. So Bianca Peters, my darling, I still have not forgotten about you. I still got you, girl. Um, but my next giveaway, I've been, so this is not official. I want everyone to listen. It's not official. Y'all know how I'm not, I love the paintings. I really do of Chuck Penson. I love his work. But, but, I'm literally thinking of possibly, possibly is the word. Everybody say it with me. Possibly giving one of my Chuck Pensons away as a giveaway. Now, with that being said, I'm noticing that when I do a giveaway, everybody in their mama here. Everybody. Ooh, what am I doing? Uh, can you, uh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, so that one's that. So one, two, three. So, like I was saying, I'm noticing stuff like that. And Mr. Mubu kind of got upset. He's like, baby, like, why are all these people in here? I'm like, girl, I don't know. Um, usually, like, I'm glad, like, people are watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. But um, I want to know that people are here for me, um, for my content, not to just get free stuff. Um, I do got a, a little teeny tiny bone to pick. What I'm, so everybody knows I'm a drag queen. 
on my page, it comes with some risky behavior, meaning a lot of guys message me and they're like, oh, you pretty. And I'm like, thank you. But behind the makeup, the wigs, the padding, I am actually your average Joe Blow guy um, named Junior. I'm just a guy that just doesn't wear makeup. I have a husband. Um, I don't do tickle your fanny because I'm a girl. Like, that's not me. Um, the, I think there's a famous song by RuPaul. Ain't no tranny chases up in here. If I offended you by saying that, I apologize. But no, I am not a woman. I am a guy. I dress as a drag queen for entertainment purposes, but I guess that's what comes with this. So I just want to let y'all know what I have to go through. This morning, I woke up to unwanted pictures. I got asked to do unwanted favors, and I said, I no, no. Um, so I want y'all to know that that's what's going on. Um, also, I was really shocked that somebody out there in the internet world had to call one of our subs our one of our YouTube people. You know the N word that doesn't fly with me. Um, I think I care about other people more than I care about myself. Um, meaning, I've been called the F word, which I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Fag. I've been called fag so many times. Um, it does it. Um, I really don't care. Um, but when it comes to other people, I, I tend to question, like, how smart are you? Like, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Because a fifth grader knows not to use the N-word. And I know that because when I was in the fifth grade, um, we were taught about Colorado, Native Americans, and um, That was like the first beginning part of the semester. And then we went into slavery, stuff like that. So like fifth graders know about um, slavery and the N-word because, I mean, we were watching movies. Like they educated us. And I was like, okay, like here in my hometown, obviously, there, I think there's racism everywhere. Um, I was, I was, oh, ooh, uh, hello. Um, oh, stop it, please. Uh, thank you. Um, I think I was asked by uh, a, f a friend here here at home, have you noticed bullying or racism here in your hometown? I'm like, yeah, all the time. Um, but it's like, well, what have they said? It's mostly to our Spanish community. Um, I've never realized... Uh, racism towards anyone that's african-american black or whatever you want to label but it's it's interesting that because mostly our area is spanish community we had spanish colony about what 40 years ago 50 years ago so spanish colony was literally where like 50 or 60 years ago before um about 50 or 60 years ago, there was a place called Spanish Colony, which right by the church that we attend um, is where they lived. And there was nuns, there was everything. Um, there's two trailer parks, which is no, notified, uh, not trailer parks, they're housing, um, which is known as Spanish Colony. So, like, I was I was talking to Mr. Mu and I was like, babe, like, this is what's, um, this is kind of what's going on. You know, like, this is, this is what they did. Like, this is where... I mean, there was fields of rice, beans, uh, corn, lots of corn. Um, what else? I mean, there was fields everywhere that people, because people were working the farm, the fields. And I think my mom was telling me a story about how when she was young, how she was begging to go out there. And the one time that she did, she said she will never go back out there because that was some hard work. Like, it was hard. It was tough on them. Um, I had an aunt. I think they worked three jobs just to support. Oh, Lordy. Did I just drop my three times? I just dropped my three times. Um, like, they worked four jobs back then. And, like, three or four jobs. I know she was a cleaning for the hot. She was cleaning for the hospital. Um, both my aunt and uncle. And then they would... 
they, like they did a lot. Like they had like three jobs. So when there's a there was a YouTube video that was posted, um, racism here in our hometown, and um, they they were talking about how like the original like the the names known here. I mean, because they're everywhere. Like these names, these these people like were the OGs that came here. <laughs> so to to hear that, I was like, really like some of the stories. Um, I'm kind of sad that one of my favorite restaurants is closing. So like, it was really interesting. It was really, um, oh, like, how do I want to describe it? It was, hi, Miss Rosas. What's up, boo? Um, so like I said, um, like hearing all these stories of Spanish colony, it was really interesting. So I, I got to do some research and stuff. Um, I know Miss Yamil Rosas is getting her book this week. So like I said, we will be talking about the book. Um, I'm debating, I really am, if I want to give away my Chuck Pence and Diamond painting. Yes, I spoke to you about this book, boo. Because, I mean, I love his work, maybe, but it's not for me. So I might be giving one away in, in November um, or late October, depending on the Christmas thing. I might be doing that as a giveaway. Um, I do got some big ideas up my sleeves. It's going to take some time for these ideas to come out. So bear with me. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I have a really big headache. I'm watching the weather change. It's just so. Yep, it's there. Um, so like, I mean, we can get sunny, hot, and heat, and then we get like rain, cold, and then sunny, hot, and heat. Like, it's really weird. Um, sorry. What are you going to to be giving away? Oh, my one of my Chuck Bensons. I, oh, my Chuck Norris's. Excuse me, my Chuck Norris's. Yes, I call. So I thought it was so funny. I was talking to to best friend earlier this week, and I was like, best friend, like, I called her and everything, and so we were video chatting just like we are now, and I was I was just sitting here, you know, dying, paying away like I should be right now, but I'm not, um, and so she went, and she goes, hey, Alexa, and Alexa's like, what's up, and she goes, play Baby Shark, and all of a sudden, look, like, now, thanks to best friend, this is what I hear, and yeah, I'm hearing Baby Shark. I like to stop. So I tried doing that. I tried doing that, and last time when best friend was doing, so she was talking. So she's on my computer, and Alexa obviously heard what best friend was saying. And oh my goodness, my dog. Okay, and so obviously best friend said, you know, play this. And so all of a sudden she heard and I couldn't shut Alexis up. I was like, Alexa, shut up, shut up. Alexa, shut up before I unplug you. Like it was so funny, just nonstop hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. And she's laughing her butt off because I'm literally trying to tell Alexa to shut up. And Alexa's like, Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark, do, do, do. I'm like, Alexa, shut up. And then finally I was like, I'll unplug you, you whore. And she shut it up. It was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. And she, a best friend had me just in tears laughing because of baby shark. And it was so funny because it just... Oh, yeah. So for the first song, excuse me, she's correcting me. Best friend said, um, Alexa, sing to me. So Alexa said, okay. So Alexa starts singing, take Sorry, me out to the water. I'm not sure about that. That's right. You better not be sure. See, she's trying to talk back to me today. I told her I'm going to unplug her today. So, she, so she's like, uh, take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the field. I don't know the song. Um, buy me peanuts and popcorn, whatever, and a hot dog. Um, so yeah, that's what was happening. And I literally could not shut Alexis up. And she was just, she sang the whole damn song until it was over. And I was like, shut up. <laughs> like Alexis, stop. So she stops. And then I'm over there like, don't ever do that again. 
first thing she says is, Alexa, play Baby Shark. And I was like, no, 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 don't play Baby Shark. Like, don't do that. Like, I don't want you to. So what does she do? She starts playing Baby Shark. And I couldn't shut her up. But it was so funny because I was just dancing away. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. I loved it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that was my issue with Alexa this week. She just wouldn't shut the hell up thanks to the one and only best friend. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. But yeah, like it was it was really fun. So I've been day debating. So with all these migraines and work and everything and stress, I've been either needing to lay down, rest, uh, crochet, uh, drink water. Um, it was it's just been a lot. So I really want to say thank you guys for being here with me, it means a lot to me. You're, my subscribers mean a lot to me. And um, I don't know where I stand now on subscribers. I don't think it really matters to me. It just matters that I'm making someone's day. I'm making a difference. I hope I'm making a difference in your guys' life. I do want to say thank you and apologize because of last week. Just my mental state, my emotional state. Like, I do. Everyone, no, it's okay to not be okay. So everyone has their moments. Everyone has a moment. Everyone is going through something. Um, it's not getting easier. It's getting harder. And with politically and weather and family issues, um, I just want everyone to know that it's okay to contact me, tell me what's going on. But it is not okay. It's not okay to sit there and ask me for unwanted or solicited pictures like I got this morning. Oh, yeah. So, with one of our Chunk Pensons, me and a best friend, uh, Miss Rosas over here, we are going to um, do a collaboration. Um, is it a collaboration? What did we call it? Um, was it a collaboration? I don't remember. I said something, but she's like, collaboration? And I go, oh, what was it? Was it collaboration or... I forgot what I called it. Or did I call it a confrontation? I don't remember what I called it. I was like, oh my God, boo, like you and I, we should do like a confrontation together. And she's like, a what? And I go, yeah, like a confrontation. Like we both dime pin together, talk, chat, video chat on both of our channels. Like, I think that would be awesome. And she goes, what are you talking about? I go, girl, like where you do a dime ping, I do a dime ping. We're doing the same dime ping. We're working on it together. Like, Go team. Yeah, I don't think I said it correctly, but I had her laughing on the floor. It was hilarious. You guys had to be there. <laughs> I love my makeup. Look at me. I look cute. This is my cute face. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. You guys are too much. I love all of you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stay on just because this migraine is getting worse, but I had so much fun with you guys. I didn't even die in pain a little. I <laughs> you guys just, I'm just here to enjoy my time with you guys. I think it's fun. Um, I am trying to do my next performance video, uh, for you guys. Um, like I said, in my description boxes on my videos, there is a PayPal and a Venmo. I use those because that was like my second income when I was doing uh, drag performances. And now that I'm not, I'm asking that when I do give you guys dime pin with a drag queen, makeup, hair, clothes, even this little look right here. If you guys would please take it into consideration, do a little donation. It means a lot to me. It really does because that means I know that I'm doing something right. And with that little donation, I can probably make this channel a hundred times better. Um, donations are not required. Like, hey, you better go send me a donation. No, it's not like that. Um, it's appreciated because I feel like I'm doing something right. So please go look in the description box. Not this one. Look at like, um, uh, oh no, that means taking me to places no one can go right now. What do you mean, Alexis? Oh no, that means take me to places no one can go right now. LOL. I'm so confused. <laughs> I get confused easily. 
Um, okay, boo, going back to work. Enjoy work, my best friend. Call me when you're done. I don't have to work until later tomorrow, so I'll be up late tonight, either crocheting or dying painting. Mm -hmm. Bye, best friend. Everybody, that's best friend. Say bye, best friend. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. Um, definitely trying to plan for this wedding by the looks of it. We, we are debating on the wedding date, and we're thinking of just going to Justice of the Peace and doing our wedding. Um, with that being said, I really want to take a moment to tell everyone that I love you. Whether you are my family, whether you are my friends, I love you. I'm going through something very, very hard right now. Nobody knows it besides a best friend. Um, I'm going through something really hard right now, especially with my family. Um, every day is an adventure. Every day is a blessing. Every day comes with troubles. You will find a trouble somewhere in your day. And if you didn't, then that means you had a good day. And take that to your advantage. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, tomorrow's not promised. So with that being said, I love you. Um, I love all of you. You guys have a very special way to place in my heart. Um, I know when I'm okay, when I know when I'm not okay, I can go to you guys. I know all that. So I hope you guys are able to do the same thing for me. Um, like I always say, tell you, if you guys have issues with family or friends, reach out, try to make amends with them. Um, try to be there for them, whether they want you or not. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I had a great 40 minutes with you guys. I think that's a good little group to do today. Um, just, I don't know. I tried dying pain today. Wasn't feeling the dying pain, but I was definitely feeling the chat that I had with you guys. I love talking with you guys. You guys make me smile from ear to ear. Um, it's Tuesday. Tomorrow's hump day. So you know what that means. Ah. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, what, what is it? Um, no, my first name ain't baby. It's Janet. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Ah. <laughs> yes. Be nasty. <laughs> I like nasty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get Mr. Move back in here because he wants to lay in his bed. I hope you guys love my makeup look. I know I do. Um, I can only imagine if I had wig the full length. Ooh. Oh, I'm making my full logical dress. I think I said that right. It's my mariachi dress. I finally got the materials from a suitcase I've been hiding. Um, now that I found the shape that I want, I was able to cut it. I'm hoping it turns out. If not, I'm going to be really sad. But if not, I got a beautiful dress. Um, it's still in the process. So I will go ahead and show you guys as soon as I can. Um, once again, I am signing off. I love you guys with mucho, 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 mucho amor. Everyone, have a great night. Be blessed. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Uh, 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 uh.